First of all, I know that you all miss me. You know your homie've got lazy ass and that's fucked up. Second of all, this base was heavy as fuck so I'm about to teach you all how to get it and also how to get some bitches and swag. First stop here is Trillion. Hardcore finger thick preset pause on this little bit. Amp moduling is off and all the others effects he also bypassed, cause default internal processing are for pussies. So that's how DI bass sounds. And here comes main trick. We are gonna split this DI to three different tracks and give each one of them different processing to get complex and heavy ass bass tone. This is how you do the shit, turn off out of Trillian's track, then create three tracks and create send from Trillian's channel to each one of them. This way we can split our bass in real time instead of render and copy it. Then each one of those FX channels will go to bus some group and that group goes to mix bus. So we'll start from bass crunch channel. This channel is body of whole ass bass tone, so let's check this out. Damn that was fire. First of all we've got TSE 808 screamer type of preamp because I'm fucked up with searching for bass metal ass distortion VST. This thing will give us some focus and drive our bass little bit to make it fire. Tone knob is down to a void of harsh cold ass digital fizz. Second of all, bias. Here comes my custom made crunch yo ass up preset, check it out. We've got all kinds of different ass settings over here, preamps over their tone stacks, transformers, all kinds of different knobs and shits and also mad custom design so it's metal as fuck. Third of all is EQ. Low cut. Little ass drop in warmness zone and some cuts at mids and highs and also high cut for cutting out some fizz. And the last is this delay which will be explained later cause most of you all don't interested in it anyway. Bass high gain, this channel is kind of similar with previous, but focused mostly on highs and more distorted. First, Tana Forge Men Ass. I found that this thing works damn great when it comes to high gain bass processing, so shout out to Joey, he did awesome work. Here is the settings. EQ, which cuts all shits below 70 Hz. Then we cut off mid range resonance and defeat that fizz and we done here. So let's move our asses to next one you all. Bass sub. Here comes some Lil Wayne type of shit, because this tone need to gain some swag but Cubase doesn't have any kinds of swag control so here comes bias. This is sub bass part of our tone, channel where all fundamental shit happens. We are gonna use Lil Wayne type of bass preset. Again, whole bunch of different ass settings. Check out the bass you all. Next stop, EQ. You might think that the steep ass cut at mids is important and I must say yes. Psych. That's the wrong number. The thing is that when you sitting around mixing your shits all day long you can start to be irrational and do some stupid ass shit. So I'm kind of fucked up but you should get some blind faith and trust me and follow my shit cause you all already know that I never do mistakes and shit and cause I'm teaching you all. Let's say that this cut defeats some Adrangi ring ass type of shits. Now it's time to sum up all the channels and give it some group processing, but first of all I'll show what those delays are for. Almost every plugin in this chain has its own delay, so because of different amount and types of plugins. We've got different delay time on each channel which produce face delays and this is fucked up because it's gonna mess up our low end. Check this shit.
You feel it? You can notice that when delays are off, timber becomes more weak, so don't even think to ignore phase compensation stage cause it's make dramatic difference. Now all tracks goes to base some group. Here is the levels of each one of them shits. First stop is a top ozone 5 EQ. We gonna use matching option to get control on timber in one easy step. You will find this matching session at the attachment. Upload it to a top and apply same settings. Pro Q to cut out some annoying ass frequencies and also give a little boost on fire and swag zones. Now this shit is really fire. L2 limiter will gain our MS and also give us more control on dynamics of bass. This thing is very important because of the way how we get our tone. Each channel has its own phase shifts so dynamics of each gonna be different, so we totally lost control on dynamics after summing their asses up though. Our bass from waves, this one will boost our fundamental shits a bit. In this case, 55 Hz is frequency of root note, A, so it gives it some accent because let's be honest, y'all gonna use this shit for 000 gen gen I'm so modern 13 open string ass type of playing, isn't it? Last EQ, boost on lows and small cut. This EQ will affect structure of NLS distortion. Check this out. About 10, 3 dB of gain. This shit is insane and y'all probably noticed that high end is fucked up clicks and cracks all over the place and of course I hear that shit y'all what y'all think I'm stupid? For this guide I boost level of bass, so if down it to its regular ass level, it will sound like this. context of whole mix you won't hear any kinds of them shits. And after all that shits this bass some track goes to mix bus for master processing, you probably notice that this template also contains drums and guitars and guess what, this bass tone is just small part of dope ass modern heavy metal tone that will come out very very soon and man this shit is fire. It's not finished yet, so let's check out actual mix really quick. This was short as fuck but you get an idea of how dope it's gonna be, don't you? For those of you who want to get the additional files, which includes is a top matching session, pro Q presets for each channel, bias presets and even Cubase project for this fat ass bass tone, you will find all them shits at my private Patreon post, which will be available after pledging $1. This way you will kind of support my ass up and give me motivation for creation of new shits and also get some useful content which will improve your production skills. You will also get full access to private parts of my in-depth mixing guides and additional files for them. Link is in description. So hope you get thing or two from this guide. See you all next time.